Greetings, fellow traveler. I'm back at it. Uh, something else that came to mind for me is reminding yourself of who you are, who you were, and who you want to be. Now, we can go uh, many different ways with that, but I'll leave it simply at this. For a majority, majority of my adult life, even in my childhood, I would keep myself small and keep myself quiet so I didn't disrupt anything or anybody. Uh, got to a point to where I went from that extreme to the opposite. I began to say too much. I began to disrupt any and everything in my life. I had to find some kind of balance. Still working on it, to be honest with you. But I'm here to remind you that if you feel anxious for speaking your truth or being who you are, try it out. Just try speaking your mind. Speak up. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter who receives it. It doesn't matter who accepts it. It doesn't matter who validates it. That has nothing to do with you. Trust me. Will you make some people mad? Yes, you will. Guaranteed. But it's better than being the one sitting around mad and miserable. Been there. At a place where I am in my life right now, I enjoy my peace of mind, but that comes with saying the uncomfortable truths, and those truths are your truths. Now, the best way I could put it, without getting too dramatic, is to simply say, say your truth without expectation. Do not expect anyone to care, validate, or to like you more for it. Say it because you're tired of holding it in. Say it because some part of you knows that it needs to be said. And keep it moving. It may get rocky after that. Okay. Let it be rocky. Find out who you are through them situations too. But understand that at some point, it not only becomes easier, but you find so much peace. You begin to see yourself and other people in a newer light. And that's... I mean, that's the beauty of this whole journey, right? Who wants to sit still and stay stagnant? There's, there's no point. That's where the misery really sets in. That's where misery finds company. Don't do that to yourself. Speak out. Be who you are. That's part of the reason for me being here, is to remind you as well as myself. Continue to speak up. Because things don't change if we don't rock the boat. So do that. That could be with friends. That could be with family. Certain situations that could be at work. It could be any area of life. But speak up. And see how the world and people respond to you. Because surprisingly, you'll find out that many people feel how you do. They just didn't have the courage to say it. That doesn't mean y'all gonna be the best of friends. But it will allow you to see your power in a new in a newer light. Because honestly, that's the way we discover who we truly are. We gotta test those limits. We have to. It's uh it's uncomfortable at times once again, but so you owe that to yourself. Nobody can give you that freedom that you will give yourself by making your choices and acting on them and moving forward. I don't know what you believe in, don't care what you believe in, as long as it works for you. But tap into that. Speak to God. Speak to the Almighty, the Most High, whoever you speak to. I don't care. But tap into that. And I promise you, you're not going to You're not going to fail. <laughs> you might fall to the times, but you will not fail. I'm telling you the truth through experience, through multiple experiences. And some part of me knew this when I was young, and I would only do it at certain times. By young, I'm speaking really in my teenage years when I started to expand myself a little bit more. But I've had many work challenges, and I'll call it out. 
And they may act one way in front of everybody else to keep up appearances, but then you have people that will pull you to the side and say, man, I've been waiting for somebody to say that. Or man, I always wanted to say that. Or what you're saying makes sense, but this is the way it is. See, then you start learning that you are thinking for yourself and you're not letting other people think for you. Family, that would be the same situation. It, it'll it hurt more at times because you have a longer relationship with some of the relatives or some of your friends. It really hurts. Put me in a, ooh, put me in a place. I'll tell you, put me in a dark place. But, hey, it is what it is. It had to be said. And I wasn't saying something that nobody knew. No, a majority of them know. But you either hide it or you speak about it in the dark. I was saying it all right. Don't regret any of it. Because when I spoke my piece, I understood exactly where I stood with any and everybody around me. Cool. Peace of mind. Because it allowed me to not hold myself to certain situationships that were pointless. We're living in a lie. That didn't serve me. And in living in that lie, I was blocking myself from God because I was trusting all I was trusting the words of man and flesh instead of trusting in the most high. Man, I had to change that. And when I did, phew, peace. I love that word. I love the term peace of mind. Like I I love it because it really is a blessing. And do I have to work on it every day? Yes, I do. Because I'm nowhere near perfect. Still working on weight loss. Still working on having a positive attitude around certain environments. Still working on making the correct choice as far as moving throughout my day. Still working on not being caught up in uh, thoughts and beliefs that do not serve me. Still working on not being uh, vengeful or having to go prove myself to certain situations or people in the past. Still work on that every day. But I'm working. It's all that matters. And I'm sharing these things with y'all because at the end of the day, one person, if one person hears something that I'm saying, they just like, man, that moves me to do something different or attempt something different. And I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I don't need a whole lot of people. I'm here to serve one person. And if it helps more than that, God bless. I'm thankful. I'm grateful for it all. But I'm here to remind you and my imperfections that you still have power in your imperfections. So keep pushing towards it. Bet on yourself. Who gonna stop you? Nobody. Only you. So keep moving forward with it. With that said, I'm gonna leave y'all with that. Until next time, be blessed.